What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Jan. This is Tai Chi to the People, presented by Justice for Hire. And it's going to be a short session today. Um, we are, uh, I have a, a podcast coming up in about 20 something minutes uh, with, actually, about 15 minutes with uh, That Fat Samurai on his YouTube channel. So I hope you guys watch that. And even after the fact, I hope you can watch it. Um, so I'm just setting up this light so that we can do some sing yi. Uh, and I will give our the normal introduction as I do this, uh, because Tai Chi uh, Justice for Hire is a show that we're producing with the community. Uh, anyone can join the cast from justiceforhire.app or you know, justiceforhire.com and get the, the full picture and then get access the app from there. So it's uh, pretty innovative stuff. And this is part of uh, what I do at my company, Real World, where we make movies and shows with the world. And, and uh, we are currently running an equity crowdfunding campaign, hence being on that Fat Samurai's podcast to share information about this uh, wonderful campaign and everything that we're doing and how anybody can own a piece of our company as we build value for the world. So it's a pretty awesome um, uh, experience and I'm very honored to, to be a part of it. Um, and with that said, these Tai Chi to the people uh, events are always, uh, they're always free and anybody can join uh, whether you're part of the Justice for Higher Cats or not. And normally we dedicate our training every week <clears throat> to the noble cause of the week. Uh, and since we're running our equity crowdfunding campaign, you can go to wefunder.com slash real world. That's R-E-E-L-W-U-R-L-D to uh, join the, um, to, to see what we're doing and potentially invest if that's something you're into. Uh, so I'm just going to plug this light in and we can go for it. And hopefully Mark can join us, uh, who is a, a wonderful Tai Chi practitioner. He's with us uh, pretty much every week. And uh, just texting him right now to let him know that we are on. So there we go. And like I said, today will be short. We'll uh, very much be focusing on uh, CME. And specifically last week we did the cannonball. And the cannonball, uh, we're gonna do a similar structure. Last week we did the pull down and the boom, the cannonball double punch, right? We were talking about the difference between inhaling and exhaling to move pressure, to move weight, to project force. Uh, and the uh, obviously as you exhale, if you're coming downward, uh, that really makes a lot of sense, but the inhalation coming upward and expanding the lungs <clears throat> makes a lot of sense as well. So I, I always recommend uh, recognizing the difference between the body mechanics. And uh, a lot, there's, there's actually a whole uh, systems of thought around these uh, very subtle, but uh, very extreme differences um, <clears throat> of, of, of breath work. So they're subtle in the sense that they're, they're, subtle, they're hard to see, but you can actually feel the difference and there's uh, pros and cons to each. Um, <clears throat> so it's really about strategy, it's about timing, uh, when you wanna do it, how you wanna do it. Uh, that being said, let's do our uplifting heaven since we're only gonna do a few minutes today. Inhaling out even deeper. Stretching up, exhaling down. Of course, I'm standing in my gilded pillar position. Imaginary strength they me from the top of the head. The tailbone softened, pointing straight down. Knees softened. Weight mostly on the heels. Inhaling with my mouth closed, on the ceiling of the mouth. Drawing the breath into my belly and giving the sensation of breathing a color. Seeing it gather in the belly. Exhale, pushing it out in all directions, specifically down the limbs first, but then starting to really feel it vibrate outside of the body, <clears throat> creating more heat, creating a, uh, a larger presence for you, a larger awareness, larger energy field. Inhaling up, exhale out. Inhaling up one, deeper two, deeper three. Exhaling out, that was a three-stage inhalation. Now we're going to do four. Inhaling up. Even deeper. Even deeper. Even deeper. Big breath up. Stretching out to the toes. Exhaling out. And you might be asking, is that a Cynthia Rothrock t-shirt he has on? The answer is yes. <laughs> Inhaling up. One more time. Belly. Obliques expanding outward now. Lower back expanding. In the entire torso. The belt belly area, exhaling out, widen. We're still here, remember, warm up, exhaling. We're in a half horse stance, inhaling around, eyes and belly, exhaling down. 
Inhaling up, exhaling down. And reverse it. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Drop the arms. Inhaling up, exhale, wash out. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, I put the hands, float down. We're going to do one golden tortoise with 12 me instead of make all. You can always check that video <clears throat> on my channel as well. Exhaling, pelvis rotates on the femur. Eyes looking straight down, straight line from the top of the head to the tailbone. Eyes <clears throat> looking straight down, elbows nearly in front of the eyes. Shoulder, shoulders soft. Shoulder blades disappear at the upper back. Collarbone lifts up. Keep the back flat like a table, knees bent, inhaling into the belly. Exhale, spread the whole body. Inhale deep. Exhale to the whole body. Open in your hands. Reach it back. Uncrossing the arms. Flip the collarbone. Re Reestablish that flat back. Exhale, breath to the whole body. One more. Exhale, breath to the whole body. Dropping down. Inhaling out. Exhaling out. Inhaling. In. Exhaling. And now we're back to straight. One more uplifting heaven. Exhaling down. <coughs> Still coughing up. But uh, lungs feeling great um, after COVID for a few weeks. Feeling very, very strong, very grateful. So, Sydney, we talked about last week. We start with this wonderful cat stand position. More specifically, inhaling up with the feet 45 degrees, heels touching, feet, toes pointing out 45 degrees from the heel, point of the heels. Inhaling out with the fingertips. And actually, let me fix this light so you can see a little bit more. Make sure we do this well. Okay, great. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up with an uppercut across, other hollow fan, ho uh, fist, hollow fist on my hip. And then exhale, uncoil, and the hand comes out. Left foot, left hand, boom. So the right hand uppercuts across, boom, coming out. I, on the middle finger, or maybe even the ring finger, um, my father and I were actually taught the ring finger for the CE, but I often do the middle finger because of my Tai Chi training. So you can also do the uh, ring finger. And now we're going to do the same concept as last week, stepping aside, dropping down. But with this exercise, boom, punching up. This is stepping forward and an uppercut. I've used this on uh, specifically Hinton Robbie Wells, one of my uh, Sancho teammates uh, from uh, fighting back in the day on Lee Tai Lang's uh, New York International Sancho team, uh, Lee Tai Lang being the uh, uh, big Beijing coach who came up to, the, to America to build his own team here uh, and actually had us fight his Beijing team in 2001. <clears throat> so you know, I was still in college, I was terrified. But <laughs> I did it, fighting the protein. Uh, <clears throat> I did this move on Rami years later. Um, and I was surprised at how well it works for a taller opponent. Uh, I think a lot of times these types of moves, this concept, like essentially if you're doing karate or taekwondo, I mean, you, you, you know this upward block. Uh, and then when you add the other arm, you know, maybe you're doing you know, Wing Chun or et cetera, whatever, you're doing the block and the punch at the same time. But uh, this was really interesting because it combines so many practical mechanics. I think this block in and of itself, of course, there's a practical use for it. Um, but oftentimes when you're talking about, uh, especially sport fighting, uh, you may not see this work a lot. Uh, even my son who's seven years old and he's learning certain blocks that when you start doing them in a sports capacity and you start dealing with people who are throwing combinations, you, you are leaving yourself open at certain times. Um, so that being said, I found that this, remember last week we were talking about uh, softening the groin and coming down. So this is actually like a drag. You're dragging two arms on one and you're pulling the opponents on. Boom. So you can actually help reposition them or you can crank them back and reposition them again and get a nice throw out of that. So you're training that first technique one, but it's also a windup. It's also essentially you when you slip a punch. Slipping a punch, turning 45 degrees and bending to get the punch to go past you. So you turn, 
and you slip. So it's a very similar mechanic. You have your nice little slip, but you're also wound up like a, or like a spring on this back leg. As you can see, I'll step back a little bit more. I'm in more of a cat stance here. So I'm on this back leg, and I'm gonna step off and push forward. I'm gonna step, and you can exhale or inhale. Again, the same principle applies. The same principle applies, meaning you can inhale and let the breath pull you forward as if the index uh, and middle finger knuckles are being pulled to the target, or you can exhale and project the breathwork visualization, visualization through the arm and push it up. <clears throat> that being said, I think this is, is best once again on, um, I've never done it on any opponent my height or shorter. It, 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 I, it did not worked out. It has worked out on taller opponents, specifically Robbie. So <laughs> uh, being able to get out of the way, <laughs> come on up. And the road, let's do from the beginning again, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhale across, uppercut, exhaling out. And then exhale even deeper if you're doing the inhalation from the strike. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And now I'm going to step, go the opposite way. I'm going to crank, stepping around, inhale, side step, inhale forward, side step, inhale forward. And once again, I'm going to swing around. Notice that as I swing, it's very much like a big drag on one arm, two arms on one, pulling across, inhaling up, across, inhaling up, across, inhaling up from the side. Spin around. We're going to exhale. And just doing that repeatedly, uh, up and down, you know, maybe you can set a number that you may want to hit or not. Um, that being said, I want to share that one move because I want to be consistent. Even if we do a little bit, uh, I want to be consistent with our our wonderful training. So uh, we will be back next week with a longer, more traditional Tai Chi to the people. Uh, but if you'd like to see me on um, that Fem Samurai's podcast, I'll put the link in the description as well, because that's going to start in about three minutes. I love you guys. Justice for Hire.app, Tai Chi to the people. I am Coach Jan and uh, wefunder.com slash real world. Please check it out. See what we're doing, how we're building applying Tai Chi principles to the media and to business structure. It's actually, uh, I did a, a wonderful interview with a Tai Chi student of mine uh, yesterday, who's also a pro former professional uh, racer and uh, professional squash player and uh, a media mogul. So I will share that link as well. Uh, his name is Ryan Carrison. I hope you guys check that out as well. And I'll be doing interviews like that with people on a regular basis. So I will see you guys soon. I'll see you next week. Always feel free to ask questions. Sending lots of love to you uh, in all directions.